Right, hello everybody. This is Junk in the Trunk 21. And this is a retake because I deleted everything that I'd done yesterday. But anyway, at least I know what I'm doing now because I didn't know. I just made something out of newspaper, okay? Please don't judge the newspaper my husband reads. <laughs> He's a football fanatic, so he says he gets this one for the sport. <laughs> okay, so please don't judge. Anyway, um, uh, this is what I ended up making from newspaper. All right, there we go. And they will be stuck into a journal. So I thought, well, we throw tons and tons of this away, don't we? Yeah. Um, those I found, actually, it was quite handy making them because, you know, before I'd done like four layers of newspaper. Well, time you put gesso front and back, you don't need four layers. Two is fine. Okay, and this is two now because I actually took them apart because I've done four. But two layers, newspaper, long as you gesso the front and the back. And the back, you don't have to gesso twice, but the front, I gesso twice. Okay. So all i done, I'll just take a little bit because i done, I think I got those two out of like, uh, yeah, one one piece like this. And I glued together. All right. So all i done was, I used a prick stick for this because I stitched mine. Um, you don't want anything too wet for this sort of thing, really. You just, once they're done, you just have to go around the edges once you cut them, you know, to make sure everything's stuck down. Right. I have no idea. Oh, I can't show that one. <laughs> it's a bit... It's a girl. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so i done that. Like that. And then I gessoed the front and the back, which I'll do another one. So I'll just, I done it with a brayer and a brush, really, but you can do it with whatever you want. Just it was quick with a brayer, really. And then I just went over and like that. And I've done two coats. Okay, my, I've, I've just done some so it's drying so I can catch up on my video rather than waiting for it to dry. Okay, so once that's dry, okay, you can either do the back, all right, because you need to stabilize you know, every, the print and everything. So make sure you do dress it, um, gesso it once. You can do the back once, and then I redone the top twice, okay? So I'll go and get the ones that I've already done. They should be dry now. Okay, so that's the ones I've done. Let's say one layer on there, two on the top, yeah. Again, one layer on there, so we don't really see that. Okay, but well, I cut them down. Just cut that down because it had something about, I don't know, something not very nice on there. So I'll cut that off already. <laughs> I'm, I am a bit funny like that. Right, so now I can actually pick my size. So what I do, I trim around the edges. Okay, and I'm going to measure this because this was absolutely perfect size. So I'm going to have two by six high that way and then the other bit makes the pockets the other pockets yeah six by three and three quarters so I'm gonna go and cut two of those down All right okay I went ahead and cut all the pieces out okay which I'll put leave that there for a minute okay so there's two pieces at three and three quarter by six yeah Two pieces by three by five. Yeah, and two pieces three. 
by two and a half. Okay, so that's it. Yeah. So what I do here is I make the hole in the top here. And it's quite close, so I like. Um, what punch should I use? Two and a half. Okay. If you haven't got a punch, then you can draw around something round. Yeah, and I also done these as well. Okay. I quite like that, the way that's there. <laughs> so I'm leaving that. So that's the way they look, and it's just a matter of de decorating them now. Put that out of the way, and cover these, okay, with paper. You don't need to, you know, but I am, because I'm going to, um, shall I do another one in there? I just wondered whether to do another blue butterfly or for another journal. Okay, like that. And, and I use backing paper on there but thin you know but these are pretty good with gesso on both sides okay and I cover that one as well all right so but with stamp and everything with these and I'm gonna have that make sure it's the right way up like that. okay and we'll stamp away and I use the Tim Holtz one and I used uh, we're not adding any more water, so Versafine is fine. Or uh, the Archival. I'll, I'll use that one, actually, because that's what I used. But not coffee. I used potting soil. Okay. Okay. to put that there because I might pick up a bit on there for something else later on. Oh. And even though you don't see half of that so that's all right. I'm just going to make sure the edges are covered. Yep. Um, just make sure that there's nothing, you know, um, untoward in the writing, really. If so, just give it another layer, gesso. Yeah, it works. So, and get that there. Okay. So, right, and the next part, I just need to let that dry. So, I'll give it a blast. All right, because I like to heat set that just for a minute because we are working on top of gesso. All right, needs heat setting sometimes. Okay, that's all nicely heat set. So now I'm going to ink up with Vintage Photo. It's no different than using a book page, really, but we've used newspaper. So no excuse for people <laughs> to not be not I haven't got any book pages. <laughs> you can do it with newspaper. Okay. Well, I might actually cover one and leave the other just for a change. I might stamp and everything with that one instead of using paper. So I'll do one with paper, which will be this one because I use the same theme as what I'm doing. And this one, we'll stamp and everything like the same as that. Yeah. And we can do a little compare, can't we, after. So, but if you haven't got stamps, I suggest you just cover it with paper. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking different again. <laughs> um, 
give it a quick blast. I quite like this ripped a bit here. We've also got to do that bit as well. I should have enough on that. I'll cover that one, I think. That one looks better because there's less on it. So if there's any left. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, right. And this is what I meant about checking if you're not sewing this all needs to be glued down okay properly all right this is where you cut it because we just yeah make sure that's all glued down but i am stitching mine so i'm not going to worry okay. i will in cut these two Might even splatter a bit of paint on that one. <laughs> At least this way you'll see the true nature of the newspaper, won't you? Yeah, because we need some contrast there. It needs something going on. Right, and these two I cover. Um, let's have a look. Use a bit of that. I'm just seeing what I got left here. Don't think I got anything left there. Look at that. Okay. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I use one of my pages that didn't print right. Okay. Yeah, the pet the. You might think, oh, why am I, why did I gesso? Well, it was gesso because to give it stability, all right, to thicken the card up or thicken the newspaper up and also to stop the black going on your hands because print tends to wipe off a bit. Oops. That's sort of, I'm guessing here. Right, you need a bit of pattern paper or something like that to go with this, okay? And I've got a bit of that because when my colour wasn't working on my laser, that's what it's supposed to have been and that's what turned out, but I actually really like it. <laughs> so I'm going to have some of that. And I'm just going to rip off those bits. Like that. Right, if you're not in the stitch it like me, okay, you need to glue this down. And I'm just going to glue it down lightly, but if you do it, then you must make sure it's glued down properly. Okay. 
Okay, so that's all stuck down. So I'm going to do black stitching all the way around there and do this as well. Okay, and then I will be back. Here we go, that's all finished. All right, so it's just a matter of um, decorating and putting some tags in. So we'll do that in a minute. Okay, let's get on with this one first. What colour are we going for? Let's go for blue, I think, considering I've got tags that are blue. So I'll keep that out. Oh, there we go, that'll do nicely. Got a little bit of faded jeans there. And I reckon that'll work, so. Um, I've got a cleanish sponge, not really. But, oh, looks a bit odd, that one. That's nice and wet, that one, gosh. Okay, I'm just going to do this. This bit could be covered. But not really with the right sponge, but it doesn't matter. So I'm going to spritz it, but so let's see what we got here. No, that's got black on it. <laughs> I did have sponges to coordinate with everything, but never mind. Yeah, it's going to be go dull now, but never mind. <laughs> like a grey blue now but that's all right and some water which I've got I'll have to use a big spray dry that off if you don't if you don't want the paint to do what it's doing with me now okay is I would suggest that you use not one like this you need the other one that doesn't flow the paint around but I'm actually quite liking what's happening here so I'm all right with it all right Okay, um, let's have a look. Gosh, look at it. How can that? It's not been upside down either. Nice though, but <laughs> let's get this out of the way. I might just pick that up with some papers. Right, let's get that out of the way. Gotta be brave and a bit on this one, maybe. Yeah. Right, don't know. So there's no lines. Yep. And um, all right, with that. Right, now I want to pick that up with maybe a bit of lace. That is a wonderful colour. Here we go, got some of that. Let's put that in there. That's going to go beautifully, isn't it? Really nice colour that is. I think that's where I got my other colour from, you know. Right, so I'll dry that. Okay, I find that's a little bit too much. Okay, I quite like the way it's on there because I went like that. 
and I thought, do you know what, that's enough. So, out comes the gesso now. Yeah, and I'm going to put it on a deli sheet. And rather than do another one, I'm going to try and make this one work. All right, I just find it's, it's too much, it's too heavy. I actually prefer, I love the look of this one. And I'm looking at that and thinking, I don't like it. So, I'm going to move them out of the way. Scrunch it up. Some of those. And because I don't want too much gesso on it, I'm going to do it this way. Side, so I just and I'm gonna over stamp it again, okay? Bring some back, bring that back. Yeah, I thought you might as well. Um, I might as well show you what I do when it fails miserably. <laughs> uh, what were the tags yesterday? One of them was like really boho. Oh dear, yeah. We need a little bit more. <laughs> so why did I do that, Andrea? Well, why? But I do, you know, and I think it's quite good if I show you what happens. Push that all into the background. This is why Gesso is your best friend, yeah? Not worrying about that. Oh, I've a little bit down the bottom here. Look. Yeah. That is better. Dry that and then we'll over stamp it again. About square one. All right, let's over stamp this now then. what happens still a bit blue for me but oh well just going worrying about around the outside because that's all that's seen down there I think the other bit's all right, isn't it? Oh no, I will do a bit more. Let's see what's left. There we go. Death by blue. <laughs> Look, lovely. Nice, I'll tell you what, that is such a good colour though. I mean, that for a match is absolutely amazing. And who would know that's, um, what do you call it? Newspaper. Yeah.
Okay, let's go with that. I'm going to do mustard chin. Okay, it's all stitched around. Right, and now a bit of decoration to brighten that up a bit. Um, so I'm going to go with sort of like a bit of cream, cream lace, that type of thing. A minute. Sort of here. A bit raggedy, this one, because of the, w <laughs> because of the way it is. Yeah, a nice bit of cream lace perhaps, which I'll cut that a bit shorter. Um, I think I might use a bit of that paper just to, because that's the colour we were going for. And that'll just prove that, yep, yeah, I think we'll use that. So wait a minute. There. Okay. Let's see how that looks, and then a nice butterfly, I think. Like that. All right. Let's have a look. See what that's just poking through that bit of colour because that honestly that really is quite balanced there. That I love that colour so much. All right. So let's see what we got to go in. Oh, do we want a bigger one than that? Don't know whether I've got one. Same size. So looks if you've got the one. This is where you get such a mess, isn't it? <laughs> I do anyway. Um so look. Just found that bit of washi tape though. I think I'm gonna use that somewhere. Right. Oh That's quite good because it's got a bit green in it instead of blue. Oh, no, they're quite nice. Right, I think I've got a bigger one of those. That is perfect. I have. Which I think that one's miles too big. But that one's good. Yeah. So I'm going to go with that. That's already inked. So brilliant. And then opposite side, I'm going to put that there. Just take that bit of white off. This tiny bit of washi tape is off that one there. go right and then I thought in the top pocket there I can use that they're, they're bigger than this it's freebie on the website or on the Facebook group so 
so that can go in there. Like that. And the traces tags here. That's quite nice. I might go over there with that one. And then I've got a cut off of something in the background there. And then maybe, 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 maybe something that's not the right colour. That's quite nice, though. Down there, just a little ticket. got that from the kit that I shrunk down so no I just needed something small don't really want to take away from that there we go how's that there we go salvaged I reckon don't you? Okay. Right, that one's that done. Let's decorate the other one now. Okay, what was we going for here? I can't like that. <laughs> it's just a bit wrong shape. Wrong shape. Let's have a look. That's perfect. Get a bigger one of those. Yeah, I'm going to have a bit of that. Maybe a bit of lace as well. There. That's a little bit too big. Something like that. I'm going to go for it. Careful what I touch now, my hands have got a bit grubby, so I should have washed them really. But I want my lunch. <laughs> Just there. And that's quite a bit, see that's too big that one. That's quite dainty isn't it? And I'm going to put a tiny bit of this on, just a little bit. Careful, not a touch. <laughs> right, have we got any more done? And even that goes. No, I like that one. Okay. Gem time. I didn't put gem on the other butterfly, did I? So we'll do that. Um, green on there. Yep, I'm do that one. Those ones are quite sticky. Some you need to put glue on, but those are really good. That's there, right. Uh, tag. Oh, let me just put these in, they're not backed. I'm sure I could steal one from the others. <laughs> Don't have to. 
Oh, a minute. I need to... That's fine. There. I'm going for green. I just look at that butterfly. Yeah, it could look quite nice. Oh my gosh, I didn't see that. A bit spotty. <laughs> that would have been, oh my God, that would have been so nice. Never mind, that can do for another one. I'll put that there. Too late now. Okay, right. Um, more. More bits. That one wasn't right, was it? No, oh, I don't know. That's all right on there. No, it's green. Green, green, green. Another ticket, I think. So I quite like that rose showing. Keep all those. Oh, I've got it. Here we go. Something like that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, look at the mess. <laughs> there we go, right? And that just needs some fibres at the top there. Which, again, I would go for green. Have I got any handy? Uh -huh. I'm going to put green and brown. will do nicely. This one needs back in a bit, so I don't worry too much. There we go. And that, you come over there, that's better. Wonky on me. Okay. There we go. So these were the original ones. Okay, and these are the ones we've done today. So I've got four now. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> so thank you very much for watching then. And what do I want you to do for the challenge? Well, I want you to make a pocket similar to that with choice of um, papers and things like that, but use a newspaper, please. And then if you're in my Facebook group, if you post your pictures of what you made in the, the comments, sorry, in the comments of the actual announcement or the original post, then I'll put you forward to the drawer. Okay, and you know, with a chance to win one of my digi, digi kits. Okay, well, thank you very much then and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.